Hi everyone, I'm Marianne. I'm a visual artist and voice coach from Singapore, currently in Singapore, and welcome to day 80 of my 100 day vlog series. So if you're someone who has a dream and you want to make it come true and you're not quite sure how to get started on that and how to make it happen, or you're feeling discouraged, you're feeling stuck, you're feeling confused as to whether this is the right passion for you to pursue, whether this is the right purpose you want to create for your life, well, I have been on this journey for many years now and for the last eight years really intentionally taking action on some of my dreams. And I have a lot of learnings and realizations and I'm here to share them with you so that you can start to better frame whatever it is that you're going through and maybe get some clarity as you're figuring out your own journey. So if you have any questions related to these, feel free to ask them in the comments or you can directly message me through any one of my social media links which are in the write-ups attached to these videos. So the past couple of days, I've been sharing about how whenever we have a dream, we normally use the excuse of not good enough to stop us from taking action and getting started on that dream. And a lot of times not good enough could mean that, you know, we're just not skilled enough or not talented enough or we don't have the technical um, requirements that is needed to fulfill that dream. And instead of looking at what you're not good enough as an excuse to not pursue your dream, I recommend, you know, looking really objectively and what is it that you're already good enough at that you can start taking action on the dream. And it's not just what you're good enough at, but also, you know, what are the different ways that you can get creative to get started on exploring what this dream could be for you. So I know with the creative arts, you know, you don't necessarily need to go to school to learn them or to qualify in them unless you want to be an academic in that area. Um, but, you know, for something like um, going to law school, something like, you know, going to medical school, these are requirements in order for you to work in that profession. So for examples like that, like being a doctor, like being a lawyer, where you have to go to school and get a the necessary qualifications in order to work in that profession. There are still different ways that you can explore whether this profession might be right for you or not. Like, you know, doing an internship in a law office or in a doctor's office to get a feel of what this, um, you know, of what your dream might be like for you by the time it is your turn to manifest it. So just because you are not qualified yet, just because you don't have the technical skill doesn't mean that you cannot start exploring whether this dream is right for you. And also, you know, your dream isn't necessarily your job title, isn't necessarily the occupation or the profession. Like that is a profession, okay? Being a doctor, being a lawyer is a profession. But let's say being a doctor that, you know, cures cancer, that's a dream, okay? Or being a lawyer that, you know, stands up for people who, um, well, being a lawyer who works like a lot of pro bono cases because you want to stand up for people who, who can't, you know, who don't have a voice or don't have money to pay for a lawyer, for example. That's a dream too. Like these things are very specific versus I just want to be a doctor or I just want to be a lawyer. Like the reason why you want to do that, that is more related to what your dream is about. So it took me a few years of being an artist and figuring out whether it is a career or whether it's my dream um, and trying out many different um, possibilities as an artist before I decided what it is that really resonated with me. So in the beginning, when you have a dream, you know, it's important to explore as much as you can about it to ensure that you have a clear direction, what you want to pursue, and also to figure out what is it that resonates with you. So in my example, as an artist, when I first started out, I did my first solo exhibition because that was my dream that time, because I thought being an artist meant having my first solo exhibition. And when that was a success and I started to sell, you know, paintings from that exhibition and I even received a contract to illustrate three children's books, suddenly I had more possibilities to explore. One was that I could sell my personal works and I could be hired as a children's book illustrator. And over the years, I also painted murals. I also um, illustrated portraits in my own whimsical, you know, illustration style. I also did more children's books. I also started teaching, doodling as a possibility. And I also started to explore trying to get my work into local galleries um, to see whether I was more, you know, a, a fine artist or an illustrator or am I both. And by the time I got to um, four years into my journey as an artist, I got very confused because I felt like, you know, I was trying to do everything or I was trying to do too much because I thought that that was what I was supposed to do as an artist. But what it took me a while to realize was that 
there are only going to be certain things that I resonate with and those are the things that are true to me as an artist and what is it that I want to express as an artist. So as an example, I never ever thought I would be a mural artist or a street artist. In fact, I still don't consider myself a street artist even though I've painted um, eight murals, eight dream tree murals now in six countries. Um, and why I don't consider myself a mural artist is because the first time I was hired to do a mural on my own, it took me such a long time and I was so disorganized and I basically concluded it was too difficult for me and I'm just not cut out for it. And then when I did my first artist residency in 2018 where I painted the first dream tree, um, it, was, it was something that I was panicky about because of my previous mural experience. I thought that two weeks wasn't enough for me to finish this mural. But what I didn't realize was that from 2015 to 2018, I had gone through you know, a certain level of leadership training and my organizational structures were far more superior in 2018 than they were in 2015. And that was the real problem that I had with the mural. It wasn't that I couldn't paint a mural, but it was that I was very disorganized and I didn't know how to organize myself to be able to paint that. So when I successfully did that in 2018, that opened up a new possibility for me that I could actually paint more of these murals. And they progressively got more difficult too over the last, um, the last seven that I painted last year. Yeah, so, so what I'm saying is that, you know, the journey is such that we never really know exactly what we resonate with until we actually take action, until we actually open ourselves up to the different possibilities that there are. But at the same time, you know, you don't want to think, you don't want to feel like you have to do everything. Like just because your dream is to be a lawyer doesn't mean you have to, you know, do all kinds of law and be able to do all kinds of law. Like, no, there's going to be certain areas that you would resonate with. Same thing as being a chef, you know, it doesn't mean that you have to be able to cook all kinds of cuisine. At some point, you know, you're going to find certain things that resonate with you and you're going to want to stick to that. But at the same time also, it's about finding that balance between specializing too much and then, you know, niching yourself too much and in the end limiting yourself too much in one area or um, trying to do too many different things and as a result being very scattered and very unfocused. So I think the journey of, you know, going on our dreams is, is like that. Like in the beginning, you have to explore many different possibilities and many different options to see which ones resonate with you. And then you start to, you know, choose certain ones to focus on and explore further. And as you further go down that journey, more things will be revealed to you. And sometimes even things that you thought you're not cut out for, it, it, you know, it could be a different reason why it didn't work out in the first place. And sometimes you end up coming back to that as again and then seeing something new that you didn't before and then you incorporate that into your current dream and your current path. Um, so that's really, you know, how the journey is. It's nothing that is really set in stone. It's really meandering. It's really a winding road. It's really us being open to possibilities and being willing to try different things out and being willing to explore things that you previously thought wouldn't work for you. And yet at the same time, still focusing and, you know, gaining momentum in certain areas that you've chosen to focus on. So if you have enjoyed today's video, subscribe to my channel on YouTube or like my Facebook page wherever you're seeing this on. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments or you can directly message me through any one of my social media links which are in the write-ups attached to these videos. And I'll see you tomorrow!